Hi, John Collins, the paper airplane guy. I want to show you something kind of extraordinary today, something a bit different than uh, what we usually do. This is called a follow foil, and it's a plane that's made to ride a wave of air that you're generating with a piece of cardboard. The trick is to keep the cardboard leaned back toward you just a little bit so that you're scooping air upward as the plane moves forward. And if you push a lot of air under it and it's trimmed just right, you can even make it do a loop like that. And of course, you know, let it come in for a landing on the aircraft carrier. <laughs> That's only an aircraft carrier in my mind. Now the trick with this plane and planes like this is that they're made from very lightweight paper. I'm using phone book paper here, but you could use nine pound onion skin paper, commonly known as tracing paper or phone book paper. Just kind of get it roughly in the shape of an eight and a half by 11 sheet. And I'm going to fold uh, this plane using an 8.5 by 11 sheet because it's really confusing if you're trying to look at the creases plus the phone book numbers as it's, it's just kind of crazy. And I couldn't find some tracing paper that was a, a nice color for me to fold for you. So I'm going to use some yellow paper here uh, and we're going to make the folded follow foil one. You don't need any tape or glue or anything like that. So let's start by folding the paper in half the long way here. And I'm bringing the top down to meet the bottom of the paper. There's a method to my madness here. I usually would fold up, but I'm putting the crease on the top here uh, this time. And then I'm gonna bring up this bottom edge to meet that crease. And so I fold in half, then I'm folding this open edge up like this. Now we're gonna do something a little bit weird. I'm gonna bring this creased edge up to meet this corner right here. So this crease is gonna come and ride right next to that. So let me show that to you. It looks like this. I'm just bringing that up. And leave enough room, you're going to eventually fold that over the top. So you want to leave a little room between this crease and that top corner there. You know, about a millimeter or less. Just a little bit of breathing room between where the crease is and where that corner is. And so that's what we want to do there. I'm going to line that up on both sides. Going to make the crease there. And then let's flip it over. We're going to go to work over here on this side. We're going to bring this edge here down to that crease and again just leave a little bit of space there and we're going to fold the layered part in half one more time just like that and then we're folding the whole thing down so we're making a really compact leading edge here uh, on this guy so um, and then we're going to flip it over and we're going to make this edge really compact too we're going to lift it up and fold that edge down to the crease and I'm going a little bit quickly here just, you know, uh, to make the video shorter on, on YouTube. You can always pause it if you're getting uh, confused or, or you know, uh, just need to catch up. So I'm folding that back over. So we have that initial fold in half fold is, is still the front of the plane. Uh, and now what we're going to do um, is make a couple of creases that go down here like this. What we're going to do is take uh, this edge all the way down to the to the bottom here like this and we're just going to make a couple of long creases long diagonals we're trying to get this diagonal right here we're just going to make this edge come down and meet the bottom so these raw edges single layer edges are lining up we're just making a couple of big triangles here now I like to fold this and then unfold it and then do the other side if you do both sides sometimes you get too much bunching up of the layering here and I'm using 24 pound paper for demonstration purposes. So your thinner paper won't be all bunched up and kind of wrinkly here. Um, your thinner paper will fold much nicer. So there's, there's one side done. We're gonna go ahead and do this other side over here. Um, somebody has been requesting this plane um, and it is a really cool plane and I've not done a good uh, instructional for this one before. So I thought, you know, maybe now is the time get some folks interested in the follow foil idea. This is a really good one. Um, the tumbling wing is a great place to start. If you've not done a tumbling wing, I could highly recommend doing that first before you get into flying this one because you do have to do some adjustment on this one uh, to, to fly it. Now we're going to do something really crazy. After we flip it over, we're going to go all the way from this corner to this corner. Big, big diagonal fold all the way from down here all the way to up here. And we're going to start doing a series of accordion folds in the middle here that are going to come together at the tail of the plane. So when you look at this plane, um, you can see it's got this accordion kind of thing at the back of it there. It's not really obvious uh, on that picture, but I'll show it to you as we go along here. So the first move is to go diagonal fold 
up like this. And, and you can lift this corner here so that you make sure that you're hitting this edge on this layer. So don't, don't worry about that corner staying put. That's really not the important part uh, of, the, of the fold. Really the important part's all down here at the back of the plane. But it's just a way to, to make sure that you're getting all the way to that corner. Just, just lift that up as you're starting. And we'll get all the way to that corner. Go all the way up like that. And now we're going to come back with this raw edge against the crease that we just made. So we're just going to go back and forth here. This is going to be like a fan fold or what's called an accordion fold. And we go like that. And then one more time, taking that edge back to the crease like that. So we folded uh, up, down, and back. So a total of three creases there. And you can see them right there. One, two, three. And we're going to do the same thing to this side, starting at this corner, going up here. So here we go. Starting at this corner down here, folding the long diagonal here. And since it is such a long fold, take your time and line it up. This never gets any easier. I've been making this plane for a while now. It just never is easy to get this diagonal fold just right where you want it. So take a little time, line that up so it hits that corner. There we go. That's pretty good. Now, once again, here's the here's that center crease that we started with. And I'm going to bring that raw edge, single layer edge down to meet the crease that we just made, the big long diagonal. And then after I do that, I will bring this raw edge back up to meet the crease that I just made. So again, fan folding, you know, we're moving back and forth here to create um, these creases at the back of the plane that we're going to use to do a series of, of uh, reverse folds here. So once we've got that done, um, we're going to, before we do the reverse folds, we're going to fold up these winglets, these uh, upward turned uh, wing things here at the side. And we're going to do about, you know, three quarters of an inch in um, from the edge of the plane here. So I'm just folding it, just folding up about, you know, half inch, maybe three quarters of an inch. You know, if this if this layer here looks sort of like a 16 by 9 ratio TV, that's kind of in the zone that you want to be in. This this layer right here, kind of 16 by 9 TV shape, a little bit bigger than 4 by 3. It's tough to get them, you know, uh, there's not really a straight up way to kind of make them match other than just kind of eyeballing it. You don't want to fold it in half and make it match here. You could measure it, but, you know, you'll get good at just kind of figuring out, you know, where that is. Now, once you've got those creases in, in place, they end up being kind of important landmarks. Uh, what we're going to do is use this intersection right here between the winglet and this big long diagonal fold. This intersection right here and we're going to make a crease that goes right up through here. So we're going to take this winglet crease and lay it up against this diagonal fold here. It's kind of a weird idea but it looks like this when you're doing it and you just kind of carefully find that center of the crease there and lay this right against the diagonal fold make a crease that goes right there. You do the same thing on the other side. You can see I kind of cut this angle in half here. That was that big, long diagonal fold that we made that went down to the corner here. Not the long one that goes all the way to this corner, but, you know, the shorter one. And I just folded this, this winglet crease over to meet that. And so that's going to make kind of an interesting front on the plane when we start to shape it here. So let's spin it around, and we're going to do the other side. Again, we're looking for where this winglet meets this diagonal fold right here. And we're going to make a crease that goes through here by taking the, the winglet crease and laying it against that diagonal fold. It's a wacky bit of folding, um, and it really is just creating an odd shape that, that presents a lot of drag and at the same time is, is uh, aerodynamic uh, also. So this, um, this plane is very, very weird that way. Uh, all right, so now that we've got that done, what we're going to do is start folding, um, remaking <laughs> all of these creases back here, these accordion folds. We're going to bring them to life here. So you can start by following the very closest one to the back edge of the plane. This guy right here. Let's follow it. Bend that in. And then the one right next to it is a mountain fold. And the one that's further into the plane is again a valley fold. So we got a valley fold out here at the thin edge 
that's sticking up. And then here's the edge sticking up. The valley is right through there. And then the mountain fold is right next to it here. And then we have a valley fold that goes kind of through the center of the plane there. And so that gives us kind of an up and down stair step, you know, as this thing is moving from the middle of the plane to the back. Now, another thing you can do with thin paper, it's particularly helpful, is pinch this together and make a crease right through there, and that'll help that stay in shape. Of course, this paper is really thick. You don't need to do that with this paper per se, but you know, for thinner papers, it, do, it does help to just kind of pinch that together and, and your folds will stay really better accordion shape. And as we're starting to shape this guy, make sure that these winglet creases uh, start pretty much straight up and down. Get these diagonal folds looking like that. And th your plane is, is a very odd shape. Uh, it, it's really a weird, weird kind of shape. So um, what it's going to do, let me show it to you flying again, so you, you remember what this guy looks like flying. So you're positioning it with your fingers open and walking forward and letting it lift off of your hand. And you can see it's in pretty good flight condition here. It's cruising around and the front of that plane is a little up, a little down, and the back of the plane is up and down. And again, I'm, I'm creating something that will fly slowly. So not only am I spreading the weight of the plane out for the whole width of the paper, but that up and down at the nose here uh, it gives you a way to adjust uh, the plane for flying faster or slower. So if your plane is flying too fast, make this a little more shallow. If your plane is flying too slow, bend these guys down just a little bit. That really affects the speed that the plane is flying, making this making an adjustment up or down on this crease right here. Really super critical. You can make the wing have a little less lift by bending these guys up a little bit as well, but your real speed control is going to be right here. These, these long creases right here really going to be the ones that speed you up and slow you down. You can do right and left rudder here, but I wouldn't suggest doing that. I would suggest controlling right left by making sure that this crease is right where you want it. And uh, you know, just try to get your, your winglets kind of straight-ish. It should look pretty much like that when it's sitting still. It kind of has all these weird uh, stealth aircraft kind of angles on it. So it's a, it's a very odd plane. And for the launch, again, spread your fingers like this, put the plane on top, and the card gets positioned down here. And when you walk forward, this plane should just lift off your hand and start flying. So you don't really throw it into the air or, or do some kind of crazy launch like that. You let it just get lifted. You know, your fingers are spread open underneath the plane and you want it to just get lifted up off of your fingers and start flying. And that's the real key for launching this one. Let it lift off your hand and then your, your work's already done. It's already flying forward. So that's the folded fall of oil one. I give you one more look at this guy flying. So your fingers would go you know, underneath the plane as it's resting on your hand. And then as you start to walk forward, it just lifts off your hand. You can pull your hand back and out of the way, and off you go. This will take a lot of practice. I'm making it look easy because I've had a lot of practice. <laughs> the folded follow foil one. It is aerobatic once you get good at it. Uh, and it's a really super cool plane. Um, I'm very happy with this design. I, I had some other designs that required cutting and taping. But I like this one because it's 100% folded and you can just use one paper with no cuts, no tape, no nonsense like that. Um, paper Airplane Guy here. Uh, if you've not um, gone to my website and got the book, this is what the book looks like. You can, there's probably still uh, some time. I'm, I'm recording this before Christmas, but you'll, you may listen to it after Christmas, so ignore this. <laughs> <laughs> you can get a signed book anytime at uh, thepaperairplaneguy.com. Uh, thanks. Folded follow-up oil one.